guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and today I am doing a WonderCon haul video. I am so excited. This was probably by far the best year of WonderCon ever. Um, excuse my nails, they're nasty. I went a bit crazy and picked up, picked off all my nail polish last night and it kind of left blue residue, but whatever. Um, I've been going to WonderCon, this is my third year that I've gone, this was the first year that I cosplayed, which was totally worth it. Um, I'm going to be putting pictures in here for the- I filmed a little bit of footage, I meant to film all three days, but I got really distracted with everything being amazing. <laughs> so I only filmed a little bit, so I'll probably insert like a couple clips because I know one was of my face in my lapis cosplay and I think I filmed a little tiny bit of day two and three but um for day one I cosplayed lapis lab lapis labily lapis lazuli big shocker right Steven Universe what I hate that show no I cosplayed lapis lazuli for day one and um for day two I wore my completely crocheted pearl cosplay everything was crocheted except for the shoes but and the wig but even the gem and everything and the reaction was so outstanding that I decided to wear it for day three as well. So this WonderCon was especially amazing because I kind of broke out of my shell a little bit and um, really talked to people and artists and that is amazing because I just I just want to talk to people, you know, like big shocker, Megan wants to talk to people, what? But. Yeah, it was it was great. I, I a couple of the artists that I uh, admired spoke to me, and then I spoke to them, and now things happen, and we're following on Instagram mutuals, and that just made my day. And um, yeah, I saw some old familiar faces that were very lovely to see. So let's just get into the haul. Um, I'm not even gonna try and break this up into days because I forgot what I got on certain days. All I know is that day one. Um, one of the artists I follow on Instagram, uh, Keel Hall Kate, she said I wanted to go to her table and she was doing commissions and sketch cards and I had seen her, uh, not sketch cards, uh, marker sketch cards, and I had seen her Hamilton stuff and so I told my dad and we I beelined it to her table and she was wonderful, amazing, so sweet, talked to her and I got this amazing commission, it's Hamilton and I keep saying my son but, you know, don't call him son, right? So, oh, it's just so great. It's so stunning. Her work is perfect. So I got this lovely, this is like prized possession. It's gonna be right in this background as soon as I finish my Hamel Gurumi. That's what I've been calling him. But yeah, so it's going right back there. I've been treasuring this. It's amazing. So I got that marker sketch card. Um, I guess I can kind of split it up into Artist Alley versus um, other stuff that I bought. But um, in Artist Alley, I had two other missions, which were, no, three missions total. Gravity Falls, because I just finished it, and a pencil case, which I knew one of the artists, uh, Sheridactyl, I wanted to get one of her pencil cases so bad. I needed a new crochet case and a new pencil case for school, and I, some of these already have stuff in them. Uh, I got one of her Sheridactyl, I got her dessert mermaids, and this is the flan one, and it has most of my inking pens in here, but it's an adorable pencil case and it's super big which is lovely and it's spacious and her artwork is just adorable so adorable so go check her out every single link will be down below um, and by every single link I mean every single business card I picked up because some of them I can't match for some reason and then um, for my new crochet case I got this adorable Steven Universe case and I forgot who this was by I'm so sorry I know she yelled at me because I was in my pearl outfit I walked over and I saw this and it's perfect. So it has all the characters, well not all of them, but you know what I mean. All the precious, all, all the ones I like. Well, I like Peridot too, so I like everybody. Um, but it has, it had this little inside pocket which is perfect because that's where I'm putting my stitch markers and all that stuff. So there's that one. And then, continuing on through Artist's Alley. I picked up these adorable keychains and a uh, prints at the same table. Um, she had a deal for it was buy three keychains for a certain price. So I got Perry Peridot and her little alien boxers. I got Pearl. Super exciting. 
and I got Hamilton! Big shocker, right? Everything is pretty much Steven Universe or Hamilton. And on the back it says Hamilton, I wrote my own deliverance, which is pretty great. So I got those, and then from her table, I also got these three prints, which, okay, I lied, Star Wars is in there too. I got this one, thumbs up for the resistance, because BB-8, look at my little robot son, he's doing a little thumbs up. And then um, there's Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. And I love this one, Homeworld Gems for the win. There's Suns Out, Guns Out. Oh yeah. So there's that one. And then, do I have more? This is probably just gonna be a huge hodgepodge. Yep, I'll just go by bag, why not? I got Steven Universe Comics Volume 1 and 2, finally, so I can read through these. I'm super excited about those. I, oh my gosh, okay. I collect everything Oswald. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and um, Doc Hudson from Cars. Uh, those are like my two obscure collections. And I had been looking for these. Um, they were only sold in Japan and it was out of my price range on eBay to pay for shipping too. And I found a stand and they had them in a case and I asked the lady and she said they were only $18. So it's Oswald and Hortensia. This perfect little rabbit child. Everything's my child lately. I don't know why. Everything is just my child. Um, I got one of those chocolate eggs from Japan, the Tsum Tsum ones, and I opened it really quickly when as soon as I got home. Sorry. Meant to film it. Didn't. But I got Perry the Platypus. Little Perry Tsum Tsum with his derpy little eyes. He turned out great. Oh, excuse my nail. So sorry. And... Uh, we went to... Oh, I found more business cards. Oh, that's where they all went. See? There we go. There's Kate's and there's everybody else's. I only had some of them, so I have tons of them now. And, yes. Uh, we sat in on the Tea Fury panel, which was how I'm um, talking about getting your artwork on t-shirts and all these people that do that. And, um, like, fan art, art stuff. Fan art, art stuff, you know what I mean. And they handed out these Tea Fury buttons when we walked in, which was pretty cool. And I think all that's left in here is the uh, WonderCon 2016 program book. Alright. Uh, also, I know for sure on day one I picked this one up, and you can see it right here. Um, I picked up two t-shirts from We Love Fine because I wanted the bag. Because I walked by the bag and went, oh my gosh, I know that artist because I followed them for all their, um, all their How to Train Your Dragon stuff. And it was Sharpie91 is her username, I believe. And on <laughs> the How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, it's huge. It's a huge bag, but there's Hiccup and Toothless. So absolute need for that one. And the two t-shirts I got, which I haven't worn yet, are um, this one with Ruby and Sapphire, and it says, and they were all fan designs too. It says, uh, twice the gem that you are. So I'm excited about that one. And then this one, which I should probably just take them out for you guys, right? Sorry. All right, so there's also this one right here, which is really gorgeous. Um, ooh, new t-shirt smell. Gotta love it. Then there was twice the gym that you are. Which I'll take this out for you guys real quick. Just throwing trash all over the semi-clean room, you know, whatever. <laughs> and here it is. I'm excited to wear those. Gotta love my t-shirts. Alright. Now this bag is 100% Artist Alley stuff. Uh, I picked up more business cards. Boop. I picked up, um, I also went to, uh, the Steven Universe meetup, which was so fun. So, um, I'll go ahead and put some pictures of that in here too, probably at the end. And I wanted to pick these prints up day one, but I didn't. But, um, you'll see two of Yellow Pearl in here too, because I got one for my friend Adri. So there's Pearl, <laughs> Yellow Pearl sassy secretary and blue pearl she's my favorite by far well another yellow pearl and pearl and armor 
Gee, can you tell what gem's my favorite? I don't know. I think it's Garnet. No, I love Garnet though. But it's Pearl. Let's be real. It's Pearl, hands down. Bird mom. <laughs> Pearl is my favorite, and then Lapis. Um, I got the Hatbox Ghost from Kate, from Keel Hall Kate. Because it's adorable and precious. And you gotta love it. Hatbox Ghost for the win. I got these two prints from a lovely artist. I got Star Wars The Alpaca Awakens, and they're all alpacas. Gotta love alpacas. And also this Jasper Lapis Malachite, which was awesome. I've been talking for a while, I'm trying to bust through this. Um, another, oh, okay, this one was fun. This one was fun. Um, I was walking through the booths and I saw this artwork that I had not seen in years, and it was one of the people I followed on in DeviantArt years ago, years ago, in middle school, and I had looked at her work and someone else's work, and I was like, I'm gonna draw someday like that, and it was, this was the very piece that I saw, and she signed it, which makes me so happy. It is Jack and Sally in Haunted Mansion attire. So I'm so I'm so happy. I got to talk to her, which was amazing. She was the one that did the um print of not the print, but the the piece of um all the Disney princesses making funny faces. I, I know that one's pretty famous. Uh, <laughs> here's my Gravity Falls thing. It is Waddles for President, and it says, "Not your typical pig, an environmentally conscious mud wrestler with a real plan for America. Vote Waddles 2016, not just another bureaucratic pig. Liberty and bacon for all." And then it says, "Paid for and approved by Waddles for America 2016 campaign." So there we are. <laughs> and she has her link on the side. Perfect. So I'll put that down below too. She was also another lovely person that yelled at me in my cosplay, which was fun. And finally, in here. Um, I'm getting my start on Valiant Comics. I've spoken with their colorist multiple times. Um, I actually got some commission work from him, which was amazing. His name is David Barron, and he's the sweetest guy ever, so if you're watching this, hi David. <laughs> um, I picked up Dr. Mirage, finally, and I got volume one, and they also gave me um, the first issue of the next that follows this, that follows the volume one, and he signed it for me right inside and he signed this one too at the bottom so that was very exciting and I would go grab the t-shirt but this video is pretty long so the t-shirt was just the where did I put it now uh, the t-shirt was just the uh, yep here it is it was gray and all it had on it was this logo right here and it said WonderCon 2016 Los Angeles so yeah um, a bit of a little bit of an update. I am going to be at NerdCon in August for the first day on Saturday. It's the 27th, I believe. I think so. I'm going to be at NerdCon tabling there, 27th. I will put that in the description and, well, I say put it in the description. I'm going to put it up when I have the right information. <laughs> and then I am also going to be tabling at, I need to buy the table, but I know I can get in, at um, Ace Temecula for 2016 that's going to be in the beginning of October. So thanks for watching guys. All the links to all the amazing artists will be down in the description box below. You can go ahead and check them out and I'll see you all next time. Bye!